Hey guys, Spin Pegasus here, and I am back again with more Fear the Walking Dead. And uh, last episode was really awesome. Uh, if you can tell, I'm watching it immediately after my last one. Uh, it was great. Uh, we got a lot more story. Uh, Alicia is still a badass, and I love her. She's amazing. But girl needs to get a bigger weapon, like a machete. Or <coughs> like Commander Alexis <coughs> <coughs> sword. Just, just saying. Totally help slicing them heads off. Not that this witch, not not that this witch blade isn't pretty. It isn't fun. But a machete or a sword would be much much more helpful. Get you farther away from the zombies. Uh, Strand and Madison are drunk idiots. Yep, drunk idiots. Uh, let's see. I'm a little up in the air about the whole community that Nick has found. I'm glad Nick is alive. I'm... I see where they're going from and they're much better than Celia where they're not trying, like, saying to embrace death, but when death happens it meant it's supposed to happen. I guess. It's kind of... I, I think that's what my understanding of their beliefs are. Is that if you are meant to die and have this second death, this or whatever, it is meant to happen. And if not, then, you know, or if you're supposed to live, you'll live, kind of a thing. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, we didn't see anything of Chris and Travis last episode, which I'm really freaking happy about because they both drive me absolutely nuts. I don't like them. Travis, I can stand most of the time, but that's most of the time because, uh, he, like, Madison's around, pretty much he does whatever the fuck she tells him to do. But Chris, I hate, I don't like him, I just, I, can he just become zombie bait? Can someone just, can the zom zom just the nom nom and then no more Chris? I know that sounds awful and horrible and I shouldn't wish that anybody gets eaten by zombies, but boy is crazy and is gonna get people killed. Or kill people himself. So. Yeah. Anyway. We'll. I guess we'll see how that goes. But for right now. I'm going to go ahead and watch the next episode. And we'll see what happens. And if someone. My theory is that whoever. Someone is living in that hotel. Or using it as an outpost. Or something. And someone's going to show up and save Madison and Strand's drunk asses. And end up either being a really good thing or a really bad thing. One or the other. We'll find out. Let's do this, guys. Okay. Like I said, someone that was at this wedding, I'm thinking they focus they're focusing a lot on what looks like the hotel manager. Like I said, I I, I think it's yeah. someone at this wedding is the person who is like keeping the hotel maintained and like feeding the generator. Like feeding the generator and and keeping the hot water on and everything. It, I think it's the hotel staff, because she's the hotel manager, it looks like. He's the first zombie because he just had a heart attack. Nope. He got turned into a Zam Zam and they're just gonna, I bet you they're just gonna lock the wedding party in the hotel and then make a run for it. Nope, and they lock the ballroom. Yeah, she's, she's got to be one of the people involved in the hotel because they're keeping it maintained. Like I said, marking all of the rooms, uh, keeping the hot water on. So it's got to be her and probably some other hotel staff. They're living there. That's where they're surviving. That's like their, their fortress. I don't care about Travis and Chris. <laughs> she's just like, okay, okay. Preparing to take out the walkers. Oh, she's counting how many go by. Smart. I liked Liza. I mean, she made some shitty decisions, but then again, everyone does. One hour is in the mountains. 
Okay, Alicia, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They're all congregated down at the end of the hall. Ophelia? Nope, chip. Come on, Alicia. You can't just run forever. Be smart about this girl. That's gonna burn like a bitch. to the next floor, that's smart. If she can get up there. She wasn't exactly an athlete before the zombie apocalypse started. Ophelia, or someone else? So <gasps> the, the hotel manager! just took a shower too and she already dirty as fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Zombie Apocalypse. You're never gonna be clean again. Okay, so it's like a, a civil war where they have the hotel management staff and then the guests. And the guests are trying to get her keys so that they can control the hotel. You've seen worse. We've done worse. Alicia so much. She's such a badass in any form. Such a badass. Who was it that predicted she was either going to become like a, seriously like the most problematic or she was going to become a total badass that was meant to survive in this world? Who predicted that? I did. She's badass. The, the husband and the what and the she mom. Send us out there, we'll die out there. This monster doesn't deserve to live. I want her dead. Like my daughter. My husband. I mean. Give her the keys, Elena. What's at least she's gotta have something planned. She's backing up towards the door real slow. She's got something planned. Well then where the fuck are Madison and Strand? No! And Chris is the one who shot him. And he liked it. Help! Did Madison and Strand get through there and find her? Yes! Well now you gotta make sure he did. He didn't breathe. Sweet, they did. And now Travis sees what Madison, well, not really Madison that much, but Alicia was trying to tell him. Chris is sick. Chris is crazy. He actually enjoys killing people. Whew. 
Okay, jokey then. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, I still don't really care uh, about Travis and Chris. I mean, I'm glad Travis seems to have finally come to his senses and realized that Chris is crazy. And if Chris wants to run off with the crazy trio and be a bad guy, let him. Let him. As long as you just keep him away from Alicia and everybody. That's fine. Um, so the hotel apparently had some type of power struggle where some of the guests that were at the wedding survived and are now wanted to be in control of the hotel and the hotel manager and her nephew who locked them in but that's and they're just like oh i want her dead like my my husband and my daughter well your husband died of a heart attack she had nothing to do with that and there was no way with how quickly he passed away there was no way that they could have helped him and then your daughter was giving him cpr and that's why he bit her face and died she couldn't have helped yes she locked you in there, so you all could have died. But she was containing the situation. I don't fault her for that. Um, so, yeah, that's that sucks. But where's Ophelia? We still don't know where Ophelia is. I guess Strand and Madison managed to get out from behind the bar and found that little tunnel that went under, and that's how they got there. Um, somehow they got to get the keys back. Because... Whoever has the keys controls the hotel. I feel like Alicia is going to be pretty instrumental in helping in in that regard. I'm pretty excited for it. I think it's going to go really well. I think it's going to be cool. I'm excited. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm not real certain on what else is going to be happening. Uh, Chris is just going to get crazier. That's, you know, that's, that's a given. Uh, Travis hopefully will realize that Chris is freaking crazy and will try and make his way back to Madison without Chris and realize, dude, my son's kind of crazy and likes to kill people. Probably shouldn't be around him. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Strand and Madison learn their lesson. Don't get drunk and be fucking morons. Other than that, I don't really know. Like I said, I have no freaking idea where Ophelia went. Like, where the fuck did she go? She just, like, disappeared. I... And I have no idea how all of these stories are going to connect. I feel like Travis and maybe Chris and this group of five will maybe end up back at the hotel or maybe running into Nick. Uh, I feel like the hotel situation is either going to get really bad and so they have to leave they have to vacate and end up finding nick or maybe nick on one of his trips or whatever or maybe their the gang will compromise that community and then they have to leave and find and they find the hotel somehow at least two of these groups has to reconvert i would not be surprised at all if all three of them reconvert somehow um i just don't know how but i'm looking forward to it i think it's gonna be really cool um like i said I still do not care about Travis and Chris. Uh, Alicia is a fucking badass and I love her and she will take over the world. Yep, that's my opinion. And she's just so freaking smart. That's just, that's what I have to say. She's just so, so smart. So smart. Okay, and I'm gonna put a memorandum on that because I could talk about her forever. So. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!